All right, everyone, welcome back. So I am doing everything possible to make sure you guys see this video before this very day here, this vertical line you are seeing here on Wednesday this week. Now, if you are seeing this video after Wednesday this week, don't worry, you are still going to benefit from the information I'm going to share with you guys here. Now, why did I mark out this Wednesday this week? All right, let's go to forestfactory.com and I'm going to show you guys something, all right? Now, this is Forest Factory where we check our economic data and all that, okay? So this week, Take a look at what we have on Wednesday. You see, we have core CPI and CPI news. Of course, this is my local time right here, 1 30 p.m. It may be different from your depending on your location, all right? Now I want to teach you guys something that no one else has shown you in the past. Okay. Let's click on any of these CPI news. You can either click on core CPI or CPI, but I just want to click on any of them because what I just need is the date, not the news actually. Now I want to go back to the previous CPI day that we had last month, which is April. This was the last. CPI day, all right? It was April 10. Now, don't pay attention to what you have here, okay? All these data, you don't need them, okay? All these, you know, these are for retail traders that want to chase the move. There is something special I want to teach you guys with this CPI transaction. So, this is Wednesday, April 10, last month CPI. Now, let's go back to the chart on Euro USD. This can also be done on any pairs, all right? It can be GBP USD, whatever you want to do. Now, let's go back to April 10. Now, let's look for April 10 on the chart. I'm on daily time frame right here. So, Right here on daily time frame, this is April 10, last month price I show. Okay, this is April 10. Now, what did you see here? Price drop down. Price drop down to the downside. Now, before this price dropping to the downside, what do we have in price action initially? Okay, we had this move, consolidation move to the upside. Then they waited for CPI day to drop this market to the downside. Okay, if I go back to another CPI day, for example, let's say March 12th, okay? That's, that is the previous CPI before April. Now, March 12th CPI, now the previous CPI was March 12th, okay? I've told you don't pay attention to this data here. So what we just need is go back to the chart. Let's look for March 12th, okay? This is 12th of March, 2024. Now, after this CPI day, take a look at the next movement. I'm not trying to teach you guys to predict CPI like it's going to be a bullish day or a bearish day. What I'm teaching you guys in this video is how this market has been moving since the beginning of this year. This is how they have been moving price action since the beginning of this year, especially pairs like this very one I am on or GBP USD or whatever pair. Okay, generally, this is how price action is delivered in the market. Now, pay attention to what I have on my chart here. I went back to 2022 price action because all these years I traded all this price action, 2020, 2021, 2022, 2023, and this current year. Now, if you take a look at what I have on my chart, you will see this is how price action delivered, okay? They move from internal range to external range like this. Then they, they move to internal range again, like in form of consolidation. They will expand. Then another consolidation, expand consolidation, expand, and so on and so forth. So what we have here again is another consolidation, expansion, consolidation, expansion. So another consolidation, expansion, consolidation, expansion, consolidation, expansion, until there was a change in direction that year. Of course, I traded it. This was around October last year. So there was a change in direction. That's how we came into 2020 price action. But what I'm trying to let you guys know is that generally this is the pattern of price action movement from internal to external range, from external range to internal range, from internal range to external range. Now, why did I bring you guys to this year, 2022? It's not that I want to show you guys a clearer picture. No, the reason why I brought you guys to this 2022 is because this year price action, this particular 2022 price action is different from 2024 current price action. Now, like as I told you guys, price move from internal to external, from external to internal, okay? Now it's like expansion, impulse swing, retracement. Retracement can also be called consolidation. Now, if you take a look at this very year, 2022, you are going to observe one thing. You will see that this expansion phase, okay? This expansion phase, we have more days, more days of expansion, okay? If you take a look at it, you see that we have more daily candles here on this expansion phase than this consolidation phase. For example, if you have to measure these candles here, you see that by far is more than this one. Then take a look at this very one again, this expansion again. It is by far more than this one, okay? Or more than this one. So this very particular year, 2022, 
we are have we were having more expansion phases. That is when that is when you will know that price is in a very good trend. Okay, price is trending in a good order flow. All right. Now, if you compare it to this very particular year, you observe that they are not the same thing. For example, this was a consolidation phase. This is 2024. Okay. You see, price, there were so many candles to this consolidation phase until this CPI day. Then they release the price action again to the downside, consolidation to the downside. Now, this very consolidation we are having right now, it took almost more than one month of this of consolidation right here. So what I'm trying to say in a nutshell is that there's a pattern that price action has been doing this year, 2024, which I have noticed. So they will consolidate price action, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it until the day of CPI. Then they will release it. And if they release it, it will take multiple days. For example, look at here, it took only four or five days. One, two, three, four, five. Now, after this fifth day, they went into consolidation. In other words, this week could just be the week of price expansion for this month of May. And after the expansion, of course, you know what I mean by expansion. Expansion, expansion actually means price drop to the downside. Okay. Now, after this expansion, next you are going to see is consolidation, 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 probably for another next month CPI day. Now, this is what I want you guys to do because, like as I said, I'm creating this video deliberately before this Friday, this current CPI day, this Wednesday. Now, you guys know if you have been following me on my Telegram or you have been following my trade update, you know I have been noting this area here as my draw on liquidity. Even from this very week here, this April, I have, you know, all this why I'm like, we need to take out this sell side liquidity. This is half price. Even at this point, I thought this is the time price need to take out this sell side liquidity. But they didn't do it. They head on to this price, like, come on, up to this very day and this very big price, up, up to this very weak price action. I'm very sure price is going to expand to the downside this week price action. That is why I'm creating this video before this CPI day, all right? This, today is Monday. You can see Monday can't be just opening. Now, if I was to trade this Wednesday price action, this CPI day, this is what I'm going to do. Of course, today is Monday. I know very, very well that price action is not going to price is not going to set today. There's not going to be a bearish day today. Okay. So I'm looking at price to take out this high right here. Okay. I'm looking at price to take out this high. All right. This was NFP day last week. Okay. So this NFP price action, there was there's a buy side liquidity here. So I'm looking forward for price to take out this buy side liquidity, then trade into this, into this favelu gap right here. Okay. This very one here. All right. So if we trade into this several gap, of course, this is the only gap that is left for price to trade into here and here. So at this point, it, this was the initial five value gap. Okay. This was the initial five value gap. But at this point, NFP have traded much portion into it. So this is what I'm expecting the price action this week. So they are going to trade into this five value gap here, either today or tomorrow. Then on Wednesday, they're going to drop this price and then keep dropping for the rest of this week. Then if today or tomorrow eventually end up being a bearish day, then it's going to be very, very much good price action for us. That actually mean is that if you have if you have this candle close below this very one or tomorrow candle close below this very one, then it will be easier for us to trade CPI that day because we know at this point, there's already a smart money reversal in the market. So we're already bearish for the rest of the week. But since we are still bullish, we are going to trade into this level gap right here. I'm going to even place a buy right here. I'm, I'm going to show you guys when I post it on the, on the Telegram channel. Okay. So me and my team, we are, I already told them yesterday night, we are going to place a buy to this level gap. Then we are going to hold it until CPI day. Now, if you are trading CPI day, you know, of course, if you are a trader, you must be very, very good in risk management. Don't just watch this video and then wait for this CPI day to be selling, selling. There can be possibility that price may change direction and break out of this place and keep buying, keep buying. So it's a very good thing that you guys protect your orders, okay? So you must be very good at risk management. In other words, don't just come here and then because you watch my video, and then keep selling, keep selling. No, 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 no. That is not how you do it. You must you must calculate every risk you want to put into the market. Like me, I'm waiting for opportunity to sell that day. But if I don't see it, we are also going to confirm it to see if you're going to sell or, or that day or not. So that is why you have to be active on my Telegram channel. I'll still post it there on my free Telegram channel, okay? If you're going to sell that day or not. So this is the information I just came to give to you guys, deliver to you guys, right? This is the information, right? So...
Let's hope and see how price actually go to deliver this very, very 